Uh, it's certainly a huge challenge, the issue of how do we uh, handle all the information and knowledge that's available uh, increasingly uh, through, through the internet and other mechanisms. I think that um, this whole discussion of filters at one level gives me some um, discomfort because I think the temptation is that we filter for things we are used to, comfortable with, looking for, and uh, the risk with filters is that we filter out uh, information, people, knowledge that may not at first a glance seemed to be relevant to us, but turn out to be challenging to us, giving us uh, new perspectives, new ideas. And so I think that uh, the balancing act is how do you find filters that also help to introduce new ideas and new ways of doing things to you um, that end up being quite relevant. I, it's, it, for that reason, I, I'm very focused on not so much mechanical filters um, or, or technology filters, but people as filters. I, I've been very active on Twitter, and um, one of the things that I found most valuable about Twitter is because I focus on connecting with people who are very diverse, have very different kinds of backgrounds and experiences to my own, I'm constantly introduced to new ideas that actually turn out to be quite relevant and interesting. But because they are people I trust and, and have respect for, I'm confident that I'm not going to be overloaded with things that are not useful, not relevant. Um, so it, it is a balancing act. And I think that, that people end up being one of the best ways to um, deal with that information overload. I would also say that um, an interesting phenomenon to me is if I talk to people who are really passionate about their work and what they're doing, I actually rarely hear any uh, concern about filtering. Um, mm -hmm. Passionate people seem to be able to um, make choices very quickly and effectively regarding what's really useful, interesting, relevant. Um, and it's the people who are not really passionate about their work or about what they're doing who seem most stressed by the overload. Passion seems to provide a focusing device that can be very helpful in dealing with the massive amount of information. You instinctively navigate very effectively if you have passion, and if you don't, you end up just consumed with all kinds of things that turn out to be irrelevant. 